hello and welcome everybody to this tutorial today I'm going to show you how to make this side navigation and let me show you how it works so basically here we have a menu button and once I click it the menu slides in from the left and all of the content moves to the right and as you can see I can scroll it and the navigation stays fixed and I can also hide it, reveal it, and, and toggle this navigation. As you can see, there's uh, not a lot uh, of uh, styling to this this navigation, and this is just to uh, show you how how it's done. If you if you want to use it on your own project, uh, you obviously can um, uh, place some kind of uh, icon here and change this navigation a bit uh, but yeah we will stick with this uh, for now so let's get into coding it uh, so first of all let's place a nav uh, then place a anchor tag and this will be that navigation toggle button so uh, give it a class nav toggle btn there won't be any text in it and place uh, an ordered list and this these will be uh, here we'll place those uh, navigation uh, links that you saw it here and first one was home and those are just some like random text in those about services and contact. Also here we'll place that that content so we can actually scroll the web page. This class will be content. Inside of that we had a H one element and it said this is this is content so here we have a so far let's get let's turn to CSS so nothing new place a basic reset right here next thing is target the body I will set a font family open sans Arial sincere for real quick and I'll set all flow X to hidden because uh, once we as you saw it once we move this 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 content element we we don't want uh, it to be able to scroll we want it just to move it and to be hidden rest of the content right here so let's continue target the nav as you saw it its position was fixed uh, we'll set that z index to one so it's above all of the content its top and bottom position will be set to zero so it takes all the height of the browser its width will be 200 pixels also give it a background color it uh, will be dark blue color 036 and for now that's it but we will get back to navigation uh, in a moment now let's turn to nav ul ul let's target it list style none we'll give it some margin um, top of 100 pixel 100 pixels push it down a bit next thing is target that those those 
navigation links uh, we get rid of that uh, underline that text decoration none we'll display them block so it take the so they take up the full width of that ul of, of that navigation uh, center line the text in it they have a white color uh, also get some breathing room between those links by giving them a padding next thing is let's target uh, this navigation toggle button we'll give it give this button some styles real quick so the display property will be set to block position absolute and left will be 200 pix pixels give it absolute position and left so as you saw it, it it's right it's um we can position position it right here and and it will be positioned absolute to this navigation because we give it a position of fixed and give it some width of 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 well 40 pixels and height also to 40 pixels then give it that background color you saw there gray save it have a look at it looking good so far as it should and the, the the next thing as i said we will get back to that navigation is as you saw it right here uh, by the default when the page loads the navigation is hidden and so um, uh, uh, we will achieve this by transforming it so transform translate 3d x position will, will be minus 200 pixels y zero and z value also zero no and it's 200 as you saw because it uh, its width is 200 pixels and transition transform will be property will be animating animation will happen over 0 0.4 seconds and function will be ease and for this uh, I will not uh, place those browser prefixes if if, if you, you want to and you uh, you're using this for a project do it but for time saving reasons I won't do it right right now and the next thing is we want to uh, once we click on it as you saw uh, somehow we want to toggle this navigation and this content and we will be doing this by toggling uh, class for the for the body so in the uh, class we'll be going to toggle will be called active nav an element with a um, class of active nav uh, if some kind of element has a class of active nav then the nav ele uh, element will be transformed and will be translated back to its you can say original position so now if I refresh as you can see this 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 right here um, our navigation is hidden right here so yes and the next thing is we need to set some uh, rules for the content real quick so con content give it a padding top 300 pixels to push that uh, push that heading down height will be 2000 pixels so we can screw that web page and see that navigation how it works uh, next thing is we need to set a background color and the color will be light blue as you saw there 
and also as we are going to uh, we're going to animate also as you saw it uh, this this content element so we need to say that transition will be animating transform and that basically the same property as for our nav now let's place that active nav class content and we will transform it translate it and we will be tran 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 translating it 200 pixels to the right that's an x value and the rest of the values will be zero we will only be not transforming it in another direction so let's have a look at it oh another thing is i will set our align this this text real quick text align center yeah so so far so good it's looking great as you can see as it should but uh, we need the last thing we need to do is place that uh, functionality so so that navigation actually works and we will be doing it with the help of jQuery so first thing is I will set some variables right here real quick body target the body and we also need to reference that nav toggle button. We need to find a nav. How was it? I oh, will just copy it real quick. Copy, paste it right here. And once we click, on this on this button want to trigger this function and uh, we'll, we will target body element and toggle class and the name of the class was active net And another thing is I want to prevent the default action because this is not uh, some kind of external link that leads somewhere just a button so let's get into browser refresh it and have a look at it as you can see we have achieved this side nav effect it can be very useful because it can be used both for for desktop uh, if you're targeting desktop browsers and also mobile browsers so you don't have to change the nav according to to screens width so yeah that's it I hope it's hopeful for you uh, was help helpful for you and yeah thank you for watching see you next time bye